Hi there, it's Sam from hootles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I've got a super simple project for you. This is a plain white card with plain white butterflies flying off the page with a little bit of twine. And I highly doubt you can see the speckles in the background. I don't know if you can. The speckles are super sweet. So I'm going to show you how to make the card. It's ridiculously simple. It really is. So <laughs> the speckles are fun. The speckles are a new technique to me. So you, need, you simply need a piece, blah, 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 a piece of basic wide cards. I can't even speak. Basic <laughs> can't speak. Blah, blah. Basic white cardstock. Cut it in half and score it in half. That's it. That's all you're going to need. Well, and a bit more for die cutting. A beautiful butterfly die set. I've got the builder butterfly dies, and I want these more open dies that. Are stuck in there so I reckon that's about a good size and my mini cut and emboss and I'm not showing you the speckle technique just yet you can you're going to watch the video all of it no skipping who skips my videos nobody <laughs> so I'm gonna put my two butterflies on there And then just run that through my mini cut and emboss. And have you seen, in celebration, in January and February, you can join my team and you can get a... Oh, hello, Fauna. A baby blue, a balmy... But boho blue, balmy blue. I'd, a pale blue version of it. Let's pop those two butterflies out. And then I want a third one. Oh, are you watching what I'm doing? And I'm going to pop a third one there and hope I can get it on this little scrap. I can. So yeah, join my team and you get loads of freebies and you can get a special, you can get the white one like I bought or you can get this new blue. Mm. Right, let me scooch all of those out of the way. Get my two dies because I don't want to lose those. There's one. There's the other. rid of that. Are you going to help me, Fauna? Oh, here's my dye brush cleaner. Oh, somebody posted a picture the other day. She <laughs> she was brushing her cat's belly <laughs> with it. Hello, would you? Oh, you know you don't like that. You don't want to be brushed with it. Oh, I just thought that was really funny. Dual usage. I don't remember who it was, though. I just thought, yes. You're curious about it, but you don't want to be brushed with it. They don't want to be, my cats don't want to be brushed with anything. I have those um, gloves that have got like the rubbery bit underneath them for um, when you have a particularly hairy cat. I have those. They're not interested in that either. Right, let me get my card base. So, on my original, which I've locked, what have I done with that? Are you sat on it for now? Oh, she is. Oh, she is. <laughs> So on my original, I've got some white baker's twine under there, but you can't really see it. So here's my technique. And I'm going to zoom. So you take a bone folder and a Stampin', uh, stampin Blend. And let me put that on this. So this is Starry Sky. And you take your bone folder and you're just whacking like that, but obviously at an angle. And you get inky flex. And I'm striking quite hard, and I don't know how well you're going to see. There you go. Speckles. So I've done the darker so that you can see it. That one, my original was quite pale. The darker works. Right, I've also got the matching twine so you can see that. And the way I do poodle loops, a bit of glue, press it down, and I just form a loop and stick it into the adhesive. I tend to stick with odd numbers where I can, so I want five loops. They don't have to be the same size, they can be any size you fancy. 
and cut it with the world's biggest scissors. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my little butterflies, bend their wings so that they fly off the page. Some mini glue dots. Oh, that I've just somehow stuck to myself. I'm going to put two behind the biggest butterfly and have that going off. One behind the smallest and just down there. I don't want loads of the blue twine on show. I like the white on white, but you know, I've done it darker for your benefit so you can see. And then over here, these are red and green adhesive back pearls. They're not, I don't know what these are. I don't know what these ones are called, but they're cute. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get some of the little ones. And scatter them around again really more so that you can see them than anything else I think the tone on tone you're not so great on camera but that's my little speckled -y card oh, I'm still a bit zoomed in let's zoom out a little bit more so that is, that's very, very pale. I don't know how you can see that's balmy blue at the top and then a very pale green at the bottom. But this dark on one, you can see it a little more. I think it's got a bit busy there, but again, just to show you, but here, very nice, very subtle. Anyway, what do you think? Super simple projects for over the Christmas period. You might be taking a couple of weeks off and you want to just do a little bit of crafting and not loads. Be like me, make a little bit of crafty stuff. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.